All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of toiling in this truth. I'm Bathaka Moth, GMS Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson, man. Just going in really quick uh, on this video you see on the screen from the brothers of GMS Germany uh, on their sit down page. And as you can see on the title, Edom knows what's coming for them, which my video is not going to uh, be. Uh, dealing with, uh, you know, because as you can see on the screen, there's a that there there's a so-called white woman on the screen that will that will be perceived as a, uh, uh, a Edomite. You know what I'm saying? Now whether she is or not is neither here or there. I don't know all that. The angels are, are going to sort that all that out at the, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, but there we the, the nation of Israel has been scattered throughout the four corners uh, among all people and nations, and Israel is going to come looking like the other nations. So. At the end of the day, she could be an Israelite. I don't know. It's going to be sorted out. Matthew, the 25th chapter, you know, he's going to put the goats on one on one on his left and, and the sheep on his right. You know, if she goes to the left, which at the end of the day, that still doesn't mean she's not an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? But I guess in, it, it would mean because she's 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 trying to live righteously. So if she goes on the left, she's an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? But if she goes on the right, hey, she's a she's an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. You know, uh, we're going to leave that to the angels. We'll, we'll find out. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this video is not going to be a, a, a dealing with that. Although I may come back and do a, a commentary video on on this actual video because there were some things that she said that, you know, it needs some 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 correction and understanding uh, put to it. So but this particular les lesson is dealing with a, a, a comment that was on on this uh, particular video, which I screenshot it because I know the likelihood of me going back and finding that is going to probably be impossible so so i went ahead and screenshot it and i it was this uh uh this particular uh comment right here by uh a woman by the name of laura silverstone uh from a week ago and she said that was actual esau even it, because she was going into jacob and esau and she said that was actual esau as as like an individual you know what I'm saying? Which I'm going to go into the scriptures and prove that's not talking about an individual. It's talking about a nation of people. Even if there were to be actual descendants of Esau today, as if Esau doesn't have descendants, as if they're done away with, which they're not, I'm going to prove that they could still repent because no one is responsible for the sins of their father, Ezekiel 18, which he, I'm going to, I'm going to prove that Esau can't, he can't repent and he's not going to repent. And she she doesn't understand Ezekiel 18, you know, so without any further ado, let's just go ahead and prove that the, the first thing that was actual Esau. Let's prove that uh, it's not talking about an individual, but a nation of people. So let's go to Genesis, the 25th chapter. And verse 23. And it reads, and Yahweh Basham Yahushai said unto her, two nations two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger so right there it says two nations are in thy womb not two individuals you know what i'm saying so two nations meaning jacob represents a nation of people that were going to that was going to come into the earth and esau represents a nation of people that was going to come into the earth you know and uh, it says shall be separated from thy bowels because and that's why they don't get along to this very day. They they didn't get along in the womb. They were trying to kill each other in the womb. And they and that still is going on to this very day. You know. So two nations and it says and one people shall be stronger than the other people. You know, that's clear in the earth. Basketball, football, soccer, you know, uh, boxing, whatever, whatever you want to, you know. It's very evident who is the stronger nation of people. The, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent are stronger than the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child. It just is. You know what I'm saying? In every aspect, wave, form, shape, size, everything. We're, we're, we're better. We're better people. But the key point in that is people. One people, not one person. It didn't say one person shall be stronger than the other person. It says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Plural. So nation, 
nations and people. So Esau represents a nation of people. Jacob represents a nation of people. And it says, and the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder, when you read down in, in verse 25, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. He's the firstborn, so he's the elder that's going to sh serve the younger, which is Jacob. You know what I'm saying? So Esau is the so-called self-proclaimed white man. Jacob is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You know, so the so-called self-proclaimed white man is going to serve the Negroes, Latinos, and, Na and Native Americans, man. It is. It's written. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? You know, these things haven't happened yet. And when you read in Isaiah 46 and 10, it speaks of declaring the end from the beginning and things not yet done. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Lord said his counsel is going to stand, man. It's going to happen. These things are going to come to pass. Isaiah 55 uh, uh, and verse 11. The Lord says his, his word uh, uh, does not come back to him void, but it shall accomplish the thing whereto he sends it. His pleasure. The thing he pleases. These things are written. They're going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. <clears throat> you know, so so right there, uh, Miss uh, uh, Laura Silverstone, you don't know what you're talking about. The, the, that was not talking about Esau as a person. It's talking about a nation of people. And 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 when you read in, uh, uh, it just is, man. When you read in, in uh, 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 Romans, the ninth chapter, he's that vessel of, uh, of dishonor. Uh, fitted to wrath and destruction so so you know it, it is what it is but the next point even if there were to be actual descendants of esau today they could still repent so let's deal with with the the descendants of esau as if because she's acting like they they're done away with well first of all esau is an end time prophecy but before i get that i want to go here let's get this real quick in ecclesiastes the fourth chapter and verse 16 and it reads, there is no end of all the people. So Esau is here, man. Even of all that have been before them, also that come, also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So Esau is here. All 18 nations of people are here. There is no end of all the people. And Esau is, 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 is in end time prophecy. Let's get that. Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world. We're at the end of the world now. Everybody and their mama will agree with that. Christians, all any religion, anybody you ask, they'll say, yes, these are end times. Hello. Well, for Esau is the end of the world. So in times, Esau is going, was, was prophesied in the scriptures to be here. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So there's something coming after this world. Esau is not the end of say all be all. Yeah, he's the end of this current world, this current I own, you know, this period of time, this time period. This is his rulership, you know, but we're at the end of that. You know, he's had it for a short period, you know, which was was prophesied in the scriptures, you know. And uh, now it's over, man. The, the, the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled, man. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for the Israelites. Uh, uh, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Acts the first chapter. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's coming back to Jacob, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. The Lord has a chosen people, you know, and they're still here. And they, and he made promises to them, you know. There's things uh, uh, that, that they, they're going to receive, man. You know what I'm saying? There's blessings that he promise to these people and the promises you know what i'm saying so so that's yeah esau is is here man you know what i'm saying so let's 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 go back so we proved that 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 uh esau is a nation of people you know we proved that uh, uh he's here today you know now she said if they were here today they could still repent because no one is responsible for the sins of their father Ezekiel 18 which I'm going to deal with that but first let's prove that this dude ain't gonna repent first of all he can't repent let's go to Hebrews real quick Hebrews 12 and verse 16 lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of me sold his birthright yeah this 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 dude threw uh, uh, the most time to the bus man he ain't dealing with that, but he's a fornicator, you know. This nigga is totally contrary to the Lord, man, you know. And it says he's profane. He's a profane. There's 
uh, uh, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So he's the most profane. All 16 other nations, well, I'm going to say all 17 nations are, are, are out, profane means outside of the temple. All 17 other nations are outside of the temple. But Esau is definitely on the outside of the temple, you know, because this dude is, 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 is just he, he's on another level. But but the Lord created him that way. He created him to be the wicked. Again, Romans nine uh, uh, says that he's the vessel of dishonor fitted to wrath and destruction, man. So, no, man, he sold his birthright. He threw the Lord under the bus for for some carnal, uh, 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 some carnal food, man, some meat, man, you know, raw meat. Couldn't even wait till it got done, man. You know, all because he wanted to fulfill his carnal belly, man. You know, he's a carnal man, man. Hebrews 12 and 17. Here's the point for, ye know, how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, the kingdom of heaven, which he sold, he was rejected. So this dude got rejected, man, for he found no place of repentance. So he was rejected by the Lord with no chance, no place, no chance of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears and he cried his ass off. And they're still crying to this very day, man. You know, just like uh, uh, the Silverstone woman. She's crying. You know, she's trying to find a way in and fit in, man. They're crying, man. You know, but there is no place of repentance. He can't repent. The Lord rejected him. Now. With that, let's prove that he's not going to repent anyway. This is a future prophet, prophecy that has not happened yet. This is Revelation 9. I'll start at verse 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented. And that's going into all the things that's happening in the, that's going to happen in the earth. You know, Jacob's trouble, uh, the thermonuclear destruction, everything. Ultimately, the thermonuclear destruction. Yet repent it not. So boom, there it is right there. Yet repent it not. They're not going to repent of the works of their hands, which was all wickedness and evil, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they, Esau, the same people, of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts, man. You know, all things that this dude has, has done. This nigga has murdered all throughout the four corners of the earth, primarily the Israelites. Blood is on this dude's hands, man. You know, the, America is founded on blood, man. S sweat and tears of the Israelites, man. So those murders is him. He's still doing it to this very day. Hands up, handcuffed, hand behind your back, hands uh, 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 hands up, uh, uh, land on the ground, it's walking towards him, walking away from him. It don't matter, man. He's killing Jake, man. So the murders, it's him, man nor of their sorceries this nigga is a total witch and he's got witchcraft and 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 uh got got these people under ultimate spells man here in america man you know what i'm saying the 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 um wall greens and cvs's on every other corner then his uh his uh tv programming with which is a wizardly place charmed all these different uh, uh witches and sorcery movies you know what i'm saying it says nor of their fornication Cause this nigga is totally contrary uh, uh, to to the uh, the Lord, man. You know, nor of their thefts. Everything this devil has, he stole. He's a vagabond. You know what I'm saying? Everything that sword, man. <laughs> you know, and that's part of his sorcery. That sword, man. You know what I'm saying? So all of his thefts. So we know who this talking about. Esau, so-called self-proclaimed white man. And let's prove it real quick. When you jump up to verse 18, it says, "By these three was the third part of men." That third part, because there's three class, classifications of men, was killed by the fire and the, by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths, which is the thermonuclear destruction. So that third part of men, there's three classifications of men. The first classification is Yashar Allah, which we say in the English Israel. Yah, he, Shar, Prince, Allah, power. He, Prince, power. He, Prince of the power. So a prince is a son of a king. Who's the ultimate king? Yahweh. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So the prince of the power or the son of the king, the son or the sons of God. You know, Genesis the sixth chapter in verse two. You know, that's what it's going into. The Israelites, they're the sons of God in Genesis the sixth chapter in verse two, not angels. You know, they're not talking about the angels, man. It's talking about the Israelites. You know, Yashar Allah, he prince of the power or the sons, sons of a king. The ultimate king, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the sons of God, man. You know, and that's your first classification. The second classification is the sons of men, 
which are these other heathen nations, man. You know, that's why that's who it was talking about when it says we, we saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, man. And we slept with them, you know, and bought babies into the world with them, man. You know what I'm saying? These other nations. And that's the sec second classification of men, these heathen nations. Third classification is the sons of the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is Esau, the so-called self-proclaimed white man. He's the son of the wicked. You know, when you read in Malachi, the first uh, uh, chapter in verse four, he's the border of wickedness. When you read in Job, uh, uh, the ninth chapter in verse 24, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, you know, or the power of the wicked. You know, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wherein, who, who is he? You know, that's why today the, the faces of the so-called people of the Lord, you see are so-called white people, which are Ashkenazis, you know, they're not the true people, man. They're Khazars, you know what I'm saying? They're trans, uh, uh, they're uh, converts, Salakia, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They converted into a, 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 a religion, man, Judaism. That's not what this, this is not about a religion. There is no Judea, Judaism, you know what I'm saying? There's the people of the Lord, you know, and they converted, so they're not the people. Then you have uh, 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 the Lord, man, the Messiah himself was turned and changed into a white man, changed his countenance into a soft-spoken, soft, -spoken, soft uh, 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 faggot, man. You know, basically at the end of the day, you know, Salakia, they probably gonna strike me for that, but you know, <laughs> you know, cause I said that word, but you know, hey, it is what it is, man, you know. And uh, then you have, if you Google uh, any of the, the, the people of the Bible, the true Israelites, you're gonna see so-called uh, 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 white people. If you Google the Most High God himself, Yahweh, you're gonna see a so-called white man. So that's the covering of the faces of the judges, man. You know, the Israelites have been covered. The Messiah has been covered. The, the Lord, him, the Most High himself has been covered, man, by these devils, man. And it goes into that in the book of Maccabees, you know. They went into the book of the law and sought to paint the images of their images and, and likeness, man. You know what I'm saying? So that third, that's the third part of men. They did that. So, and, and as it says down here in verse 21, they, did, they neither repented for their murders sorceries fornication and thefts man so they can't repent but they're not going to repent you know what i'm saying and they're going into slavery for a thousand years and then they're going to be obliterated and, and 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 exterminated out of the earth man because that's what's needed man you know this dude is just a double man you know so we've proven these things you know we've proven esau as a nation we've proven that he's got the sentence and he's here today and we've proven that he can't repent now let's prove because she didn't understand is equal to 18th chapter. Let's get let's let's prove that real quick and then we'll get out of here, man. Let's go deal with that. Ezekiel 18. Uh, and I think around verse 20. We'll just go get to the point. Ezekiel 18 and 20. The soul that sinneth it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteous the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. And that's correct. You know, the son doesn't pay for the father and the father doesn't pay for the son. So let's get some understanding because when you read in Isaiah, the 14th chapter in verse 21, it says this, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Now, is there is this a contradiction? Because we just read the son doesn't pay for the father and the father doesn't pay for the son. But right here it's saying prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Now, is, that a, is there a contradiction here? No, there isn't. Let's, let's go to Exodus, the 20th chapter and verse 5. And it reads, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I am Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power am a jealous power. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. The third and fourth generation. Because those people come back in the third or fourth generation. So in, in turn, you are your forefathers. Let's prove that real quick by going to Ecclesiastes, the first chapter and verse nine. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Now let's jump over to chapter six real quick and get some some context. This is uh, Ecclesiastes six and ten. That which hath been, which is what we just read in the first chapter, is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him that is mightier than he. 
So the thing that hath been is man. Now let's jump back to chapter one and read it in context. The man that hath been is that which shall be. So a man has been and he's going to be again. That's that third or fourth generation in Exodus, the 20th chapter and verse five. And that which is done is that which shall be done. So whatever he did, when he comes back, he's going to do it again. There's a real occurrence of things that's been happening here. And there is no new man under the sun. So you ain't new. As a matter of fact, read the next verse. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? No, because we just read it in the, in the previous verse. It hath, it hath been already of old time, which was before us. Exactly. So all these things, as a matter of fact, let's jump over to verse uh, uh, chapter three and read verse 15. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which hath been is now. So the man that hath been is now. <laughs> Third or fourth generation. And that which is to be hath already been. Exactly. Because that that comes in the future has already been now in the present, which was, was in the past. Man, come on. You know, this is some beautiful stuff when you have the understanding. Uh, and the most high required that which is past. So that's why you have to pay for the things done in the body when you're in the earth man you know and that's exactly why it says in, in isaiah 14 and 21 that uh, uh uh as a matter of fact let me go back to isaiah 14 and verse 21 prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that's why man you know what i'm saying that's why so hey man it is what it is you know the 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 uh ezekiel 18 is correct you don't pay for the son and the son don't pay for the father the son the son doesn't pay for the father the father doesn't pay for the son you pay for your own sins man so all the descendants of esau are coming back esau himself is coming back all the descendants of jacob is coming back jacob himself is coming back you know what i'm saying so jacob his descendants all those that flow through that chosen line is going to continue to come into the earth and all that flow through Esau on back to Cain, this, this thing goes all the way back to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? It's going to flow through that wicked line, man. You know, and that's why there is one vessel of, uh, to honor and one vessel of dishonor fitted for wrath and destruction from the same lump, man, of clay, man. All creation came from the same lump of clay. You know what I'm saying? So, but the point is we come back every three to four generations. So Ezekiel 18, it, that means nothing, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, you didn't prove no point, Laura Silverstone. You know what I'm saying? So women, hut, shut the f up, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to teach this Bible. You, you're trying to make points and you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That was actual Esau. Esau is a nation of people, man. He has descendants. He's here today. He can't repent. And you come back. Every three to four generations, man, and you're gonna pay for what you did in the past, man. That's why the most high requires that which is past. So, hey, Laura Silverstone don't know the Bible, she don't know what she's talking about. She needs to shut up, man. So, hey, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. Giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadash, Shalom.